We are taking you now from where the tornado first started its path of destruction to where it ended. So this is video from the Briar Cliff community where the twister first touched down. NBC2's Gage Golding is there for us tonight talking to people who are cleaning up the damage. This area off of Sweetwater Court has seen the brunt of the damage. Dozens of trees just like this effortlessly uprooted and laid down. And pieces of roofing just like this found thrown nearly football field away. It's a reminder of how strong Mother Nature is. Just knowing how, realizing how bad it was seeing that, how strong the winds were, that they could pick up something and just put it into a tree that high, just amazing. As the tornado ripped through this area off Briarcliff Road this morning, residents scrambled to get in their safe spot. I could hear my mom screaming that it was a tornado and that we have to get into the uh, pantry, which has no windows. It was almost surreal. Just uh, like I said, it was just complete silence. You could, could really didn't hear nothing. And then just picking up and sounding like a, like I said, a freight train. Across the street, Scott Mackey walked outside blindsided by both the storm and almost his patio furniture. One of the umbrellas went flying by at a zillion miles an hour. The worst damage here, roof shingles pulled off, the pool cage meticulously dismantled, and 10 palm trees dropped across his property. A 10 of the big honkers are you know, they're down all the way around the yard. While a tornado this time of year was an eye opener to Scott, it's not the first he's had to deal with this year. We had friends here last weekend from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and they literally came in as the tornadoes went through there. So I guess it was our turn. This is a site that neighbors will get used to seeing at least for the next week because cleanup here has just begun. I'm reporting in Fort Myers, Gage Golding, NBC2.